Hello guys, in this tutorial we will learn more about text views. So what are text views? Text views are used to display the text in Android State. So if you, you create a first app, hello world, we will see the text view having the attributes on the right side. So click on attributes panel and select the text view from the component tree. Uh, the ID here, like uh, as its name, it gives an ID for this widget. So uh, remember that text views, image views, and other types are widgets. So text view uh, is referred as an widget. So we need to put it if, uh, to display uh, or assign it for an ID. So also uh, this uh, widget have a layout width and layout height. So we can set it, it for wrap content or, uh, or uh, match parent. So uh, ma wrap content will, uh, will wrap the layout to the smallest possible area where the content is presented for so <clears throat> also we have a layout uh, other layout uh, categories or attributes now in order to display the text we go to declared attributes and we uh, select the text and put whatever we need to the to use in uh, the, this text or display in this text. Now let's click click run and see what happens to the to our app. It's very good. So we are displaying and and text view from uh, or inside it. Now we go to layout. So in this section, the layout of the text view is uh, configured uh, by using constraint. We will see later what are constraint layouts and what are the powerful power of the using this uh, layout. Till now, you you will uh, like um, it's like uh, deduce what I am doing. So these layouts are uh, very powerful. Now let's go to uh, constraints and see the common attributes and here we can put other layouts so text appearance also uh, we can uh, edit the size of our text now well, let's move to all attributes this will at the will uh, display all the types or the attributes for the text view selected. So remember that we are making uh, the, or uh, we are using all attributes for the text view. We can edit the text, uh, background, it's the text color. So now the background is uh, hollow green. So you, there are many attributes you can check them, uh, edit them, and and see what happens to your app, and discover these these uh, attributes. But now we are making uh, the basics or the most common attributes. Now its background is changed. So we will move next uh, to the other attributes. There are a lot of attributes like gravity, height, line spaces, line, layer type, and uh, layout uh, and on click, number, and numeric, and other. So we will see later uh, how to use on click methods and uh, making uh, click listeners and learn more about listeners. Padding, padding also, it's very important. Uh, because it is a more uh, like a, 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 like a margin from the layout itself. So uh, configuring this uh, paddings, you can uh, notice the change inside the 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 text. 
these uh, these the, um, attributes or this uh, uh, properties we will see them later on detailed view and detailed uh, manner and detailed way so now we can change the text color we can let's say uh, um, let's put it it's a blue a black sorry white now we can use also other uh, other attributes other colors now let's move to the text size also it's uh, the most common and the most used property it is in sp uh, we will see later what are the sp and dp now let's move and run our app see the difference see the, the changes and hooray it's working fine so these are the most common uh, attributes now let's move to text style it says you can uh, make it the bold normal italic and many other uh, features you can make it both italic and bold let's run and see on the real app what the, what will this be displayed it's very good we can uh, edit the visibility invisible it will be gone or invisible also there are many attributes you can edit and check them by yourself but now these are the most uh, important layouts so let's move on the type type fa face this typeface is as a font so the font you can use and export uh, or import uh, fonts later on we will learn how to import uh, fonts in android studio and use them as a custom text so it's working fine the font is changed okay now let's format the text program it programmically now so these are the designs so what what about coding i will specify an id for the text view remember it is very important to specify the id for every widget you you made so now go to app from the left side the package java package and main activity on the main activity we are going to import our uh, or uh, may declare our text view so uh, if you uh, if you understand or or remember the the way i uh, i create or declare or initialize my widgets in android studio it is the most uh, it, it is the easiest way so below the public class you configure and you initialize the text view starting by text view here the android studio will make an error so it will be under underlined if you click you uh, on the right on the red text it will be underlined so in order to import any package or any widget you uh, any widget package you need to press alt plus enter so go and click on the on the error waiting for the uh, for making uh, and annotations these annotations or com uh, these comments are very important uh, in uh, making and understanding and remembering your code so go to text view click on alt plus enter and press import package so the 
package is imported Android Studio will import uh, the package you will be used so if you see the uh, Android uh, Studio imported the widget text text view widget and the error is solved so if I delete it the error will be presented so again I'll press enter the port the package will be imported now remember I am initializing our my widget so text view let's say I am making an uh, an object or an instance from text view this text view will inherit all of its uh, properties so on on create method we will see later on how activity cycle uh, will uh, or uh, activity cycle will work or works in android so now i'm under uh, or uh, inside the on create method I am uh, initializing the text view and linking the code with the UI. So what I am doing is saying to Android Studio, hey Android Studio, I've created a text view in the layout and I am now uh, telling you what it is, what's it, what is the, uh, its ID. So whenever I want to, to use uh, the text view or the clear view, I need to make an instance from text view and say find the view by id r dot id dot the id of the text view which is in previous uh, in uh, in previous uh, couple of minutes I renamed it to text view 11 so setting text programmatically uh, will is very important and very easy so now I am I declared the text view. Now now I am setting the text inside. Uh, 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 I am setting the text of the text view programmatically. So text view dot set text and inside the two brackets and the two quotations is a string of uh, that it is working. Thank you, guys.